Hey friends, so a few months ago my father was put in the ICU and I needed to travel about a hundred miles to see him and that's when I realized there was a pile of oil under my van. So in a pinch we decided to seal it with JB Weld and this is what it looks like when you rip JB Weld off of the oil pan drain plug. So I would never recommend really doing this because it was completely tiring and exhausting to rip this stuff off. But let me tell you, it definitely served its purpose. It slowed the leak down on this beast for just long enough for me to make the trip and, you know, see my dad a few times. And now, you know, finally with the weather, I had enough time to pop this thing apart and really, you know, get back at it. So our goal here is to completely remove and replace the entire oil pan, despite the fact that the drain plug did come off. Well, simply because, you know... Clearly, this drain plug didn't fit right for a reason, so it's got to be stripped on the pan side, I'm assuming, and even if it's not, I'd rather just replace it at this point. It's an 05, we're in 2018, so, you know, it's about time. So with that, you know, it took a little bit of effort and maneuvering and slamming it with the pry bar and hammer, but the JB Weld did come off, and as you can see on this bolt, it was pretty nasty even though we uh got the majority of this stuff off of it so you know it wasn't really a pleasurable experience again it was not easy to remove um definitely took a face full of oil and uh yeah you know you want to do it the right way but i guess if you're in a pinch jb weld is kind of life-saving so i was able to see my dad in the icu and my van didn't suffer from that at all compared to how it was pissing out oil before. And now, well, now I'm stuck with pitch black darkness outside, a little bit of rain. And uh, I'm going to put in some extra effort here and get this thing done tonight because I am totally, totally not having my van in shambles for the next week. I don't care how much rain comes, this thing is getting done. I am so determined. There are just some things in life that you need to let your determination lead you, and this is definitely one of them. So, you know, I don't recommend anyone who does not have prior automotive experience to just jump in and say, hey, let me replace my oil pan, but at the same time, this was a really easy job. The hardest part was removing the bolts for the exhaust because the exhaust was definitely stuck in place even without them. With that being said, it really wasn't so bad. You know, the removal of the bolts is what you're seeing me do now. And there are, I think it was 13 to 15 bolts, something like this. A lot of them, and they're really, really easy to crack and move. The worst part is going to be taking the oil pan to the face. So with a little preparation, a little bit of positive attitude, we're going to get this oil pan off and get the new one on. I'm totally sure of it. Hey everyone, so I'm taking a quick break now. Um, we got all the bolts loose on the oil pan. It's coming off very shortly, and that's really all that's left. The JB Weld came right off, thank God. So, here we go. It's time to wrap it up and be done with this van already. You could really see the mess on the driveway right now. It's really bad.
And if I'm doing it wrong, someone can make fun of me on YouTube for it. See? I'm okay with that though. This shit hates me. I mean, I guess I hated you too, but like, you see what it's doing to me? So my fun adventure for the morning is that I can only get the exhaust on one side at a time, either the front or the back, and they refuse to go on at the same time. So this is the last of the challenge because as you can see, new oil pan is in. It's happy. But as much as I would love to run the van open header, I'm pretty sure I'm not legally allowed to do that in my state. I bet it sounds wicked though. No.